What's going on guys? Welcome back to Goshen's Games and today I want to run a little experiment today and if you saw the the title or the thumbnail you know what we're gonna do right like I have to do this I have to test this out we're gonna be taking our PS1 games and we're gonna put it into our PS4 I want to see what happens when I do that I want to see what it says because I'm curious so make sure you guys hit the thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new our first game we're gonna put in is Resident Evil 2 Leon let's go let's I, I want to see what it says I really do I'm very curious because the ps4 when you put in a, a, a ps1 game like it, it it detects it but it doesn't run it which kind of sucks to be honest with you ps3 runs it just fine so i want to see what it says it's just spinning we just got the spinning icon so far nothing it's, it's just spinning the disc are we not even going to get an error code it's just spinning it like in the ps4 immediately it says this disc is not supported on this one it's just spinning it's it's even like it's it's trying to read it on my ps5 okay it's done spinning are we gonna get an error now nope nope there it goes again Wh what's gonna happen I mean, it's not doing anything. It's just spinning. Okay, there it goes. Unreadable disc. Make sure it's not damaged or dirty and that it's not inserted upside down. I like how they say that. Um, it's not damaged or dirty or inserted upside down. Uh, this is like a basically flawless copy of Resident Evil 2. So, all right. That's what we got for... Our PS1 game and I'm pretty sure it's gonna say that for every single one um, I'm actually curious about something give me a second all right so we're gonna test out a PS2 game fatal frame 2 is my game of choice for this one just why not keep in theme with the horror game we did Resident Evil 2 we do fatal frame 2 part 2 and part 2 sure let's go fatal frame 2 we're going to go ahead and put it into the PS5. We're going to see what it does. I also want to note that the 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 uh, the color on the back of the PS1 disc is black and the back of the PS2 disc is uh, silver. This disc isn't supported by the PS5. Interesting. We got a different error message from the PS1 game and the PS2 game. <laughs> That's very interesting. We might go and check another PS1 game. But let's go ahead and take this out. And we're going to try a PS3 game. So let's do that. And keeping in line with the 2 theme... And the horror theme, because apparently we're doing both of those now. Dead Space 2 is our candidate here. We're going to test out Dead Space 2 in our PS5. And immediately, immediately... This disc isn't supported by the PS5. So the PS1 game, we got an, a different message, a different error. That is very interesting because it makes me think that maybe if it wasn't a black PS1 game, it might read it. I don't think I have any that are that have a different reflective surface. 
trying to think if, if there's any that I that I might without having to like take them all out. I think I'm gonna have to take them all out. I'll be right back. Okay. Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross has a normal reflective surface on it. Or, you know, one that's similar to like a, a, a regular CD-ROM or a regular CD, audio CD. So we're gonna put this in, Chrono Cross, and I'm gonna see what it says. I'm very interested to see if we get a different error message. I didn't even know Chrono Cross was a different, uh, different reflective surface on it, but I guess it does. I wonder why Square decided to do that. Let's see what we get. And we got another unreadable disc. Make sure it's not damaged or dirty and that it's not inserted upside down. Okay, so those that seems to be what we're getting. Um for for fun, right? So just for fun, well, not just for fun, but for experiment, experimental purposes, we're going to go ahead and insert a music CD because I want to see what happens. So let's get, let me see what I got here. Okay, so we got Dream Theater Octavarium. So we're going to go ahead and insert a music CD and I want to see what it says. This is actually pretty, for me, it's an interesting experiment to see what, uh, what happens when you insert different uh, discs into the PS5. All right, it's spinning. And we get unreadable disc. Okay, so it will not read CDs. It will not read PS1s. I mean, we kind of knew that it wasn't going to have the backwards compatibility. But what's interesting to me is the fact that we got uh, the two different error codes. One for the PS1 titles and one for the PS2 and PS3. Uh, specifically, the PS2 and PS3 titles saying that it's not supported, where the other ones, it says it's an unreadable disc. Now, the reasons for that could be because it's a Blu-ray drive, and maybe that's why it's not reading the PS1 games, because the PS1s are regular CDs, right? So they back then, it was just regular CDs, CD-ROMs. Uh, so that would explain why it's not able to read it, but... The PS2 and PS3, I almost feel like if they did a firmware update, they could potentially allow you to download the content from the discs and play it em emulation style. And the reason why I say that is because on PS3, you can do that. If you have a, ha um, a hacked PS3, not modified, all right, not a modded PS3, where you just do a homebrew on your PS3 and you went ahead and uh, and hacked it that way through homebrew you can put in a ps2 game such as fatal frame 2 final fantasy 10 uh any ps2 title you can put it into your ps3 your ps3 will detect it it will read it and you can effectively copy the data from uh, using your ps3 copy the data onto your ps3 to be able to play the game um the reason why i find that very interesting is because if it's anything like the the way that that it works on the ps3 it might through a firmware update you might be able to do that with the ps5 uh now that the ps4 is done we'll probably see homebrew and and hacks and all that stuff more frequently for the ps4s uh so that would actually be pretty interesting to see how those read the ps2 games um as well as ps3 games so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Let me know what you guys think about this, uh, this experiment here because I'm curious to see if maybe they down the road they do a firmware update. I mean, I, I, I can be as hopeful as I want. Um, but there's a specific reason why this is reading as unreadable and this is reading as not supported so i would like to know more about that why it's it's reading it that way but if you guys have any information on that let me know down in the comment section until the next time i'll see you guys real soon